Hey, happy Saturday, love bugs. So I'm here for your energy um, messages, of course. I'm sending love and light and beautiful healing energy to any and everyone who needs it. We all can stand and get some good energy. And um, I encourage all you guys to think high and abundantly today. No matter what um, things that we have to um, face, I'm not saying that you guys are going to face anything. But just know that everything is working out in your highest good, okay? Um, that's we over here. We turn our pain into our passion and our purpose. That's where we're transmuting our pain in, okay? So I just want to encourage you guys and let you guys know, like I always say, that I love y'all, okay? All right, let's see what the message is. Oh, right. That release show X card is poking up. All right, let's see. What are the messages that we need right now? On this beautiful Saturday. Okay, we're going, we need to be outside today. Some of y'all need to go outside. We all need to go outside. We all need to, um, for some of us, just walk around. You know, if you can get near a tree, if you can get near uh, anything in nature, get near, but just be outside for some of y'all. I think some of you guys may meet or come in contact with an unusual person. It could be a man, because this car, this. Uh, image is really standing out to me. What are the messages that we need right now? But you know, a lot of times when people are really uh, peculiar, like like the that's my grandma used to always use that word. Um, that is an earth angel. They are here for a divine purpose, and a lot of times these people are maybe um, deal with uh, drug addiction. They're homeless or whatever. But you always know these people are different. But they always give us um, the right. Uh, energy you know you don't feel any type of way I personally don't feel any type of way when I encounter people who are different anyway but yeah just want to throw that out there okay so what are the messages that we need right now messages that the collective needs peace there's a lot of new energy that's being ushered on to you this two three yeah that's a change you're moving towards brighter days when it comes to that inner peace. This is inner stuff, y'all. This is inner. Okay. Ooh. What are the messages that we need right now? Okay. We're talking about oh. posing the question, is it time or should I give a relationship a chance? It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic connection. Don't always think in that aspect. This could be in a relationship with an old friend, an old co-worker. Um, I offer some of y'all like a sorority sister, but giving this relationship a chance where there was a lot of love, but there was a lot of disconnection, um, you know, being on different frequencies, people are doing their own thing. We're all dealing, we're all on our own separate paths, chopping wood, uh, cleaning up what doesn't serve us anymore. That's what we're doing. Cleaning up what doesn't serve us eternally anymore. And that is what is establishing that strong energy of inner peace. Um, coming to the edge of being a loyal heart. That's how I'm taking these two cards. Some of you guys are preferring or just going to make a decision to pour into yourselves as opposed to um, giving to anything physically. Like if you have to overexert yourself, if you have to do anything more than what you're willing to give or do rather, you're not going to do that. You're just moving into alignment. You know, because somebody may, this is two people, I always say two people who are very loyal, dedicated, and very wise, but there's not a lot of communication. There's not even a lot of stimulation, of course, between this, uh, okay, I hear cycles, two cycles, because this is giving me the same energy, this cliff and these, and this uh, heart shape um, object that these two owls are on. So some of you guys, okay, so whoever this, this is giving me that energy of like releasing control. So some of y'all may be dealing with another person where the two of you guys are just letting the universe, like you're letting go. Not to say you wasn't doing this before, but you are really just letting go, letting go. Like universe, whatever happens between me and this person, whatever our destiny is, whatever we are called to do at this portion of our life, because this person could have been somebody who you've had a disconnect with, who you had a tumultuous relationship with, where there was a lot of pain, agony, negativity, whatever. That's what I'm saying. This necessarily doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but you're coming to the edge. You're coming to where you know what you're trusting. 
You're not trying to put any thought behind it, any worry. Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? You're just allowing, okay? What is the messages that we need right now? Mm. What is the messages that we need? Uh, Queen of Pentacles, our stability. Saving up money. Some of you guys are going to see a... Um, Oh, wow. Some of you, I hear a brilliant return. So maybe some of you guys made some type of investment. So this just giving me that energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is very determined to improve her financial circumstances. The Queen of Pentacles is very stable on the inside towards Capricorn Virgo energy. You know that. But this is determination. This is factoring all fundamental principles into what you're doing in your finances. I had perhaps I put no thought behind it. They just came out. Of course, like all the messages, but I'm just saying. Let's see. What are the messages that we need right now? But don't fret. Don't worry if like things are not lining up exactly how you want them or would expect them. Don't expectations. Y'all know about that. Or how you, you know, like, damn, I thought this would be like this. I put so much work into this. Just be patient. You'll see that because the Queen of Pentacles is patient. All right. What are the messages that we need right now? Okay, what are the messages? All right. Indecision. Oh, needing to make a decision, you guys. Some of y'all have two people on the brain. In your mental space, there are two people. Um, both don't have a lot of hair. You're trying to, um, not say trying, but you're in a space finally where you're allowing like, okay, whatever, like, because when you are in allowance and in that peaceful energy, you will see how those downloads and that clear clarity, clear clarity, how that uh, clarity will come in super strong and super powerful to guide you. Okay. Page of cups. Let's clarify this page of cups, please. A page of cups. Um, you're in, this is, um, a childlike energy that's, uh, gauging you on your journey. Like I said, a lot of us are being on a journey or we are on a journey right now, right? That's what spirituality is anyway. It's a journey, but specifically there's a specific journey. There's a specific destination and this could have to do with, oh yeah, you know, I got to talk y'all. There's a video. Uh, well, okay. There's a, let me just go back. Specifically, there's a journey that we're on. And so for some of you guys, you may be in this energy where you're finally accepting of this. Okay. And you're ready because this person is packed and ready. Page of Cups. There could also be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces coming towards you. They're getting ready. This is a voyage. Come along and ride on the fantastic. All right. What's this moon card here for? Scorpio energy reaching out possibly a fire sign reaching out to a Scorpio a Scorpio reaching out to a fire sign the loyal heart is right underneath these are two people who are communic um I say communicative I was gonna say two people who are very loyal to each other even when the communication is not the best there you go this king of wands hey don't you touch her stay away from her Somebody don't want nobody near y'all. So they about to come around y'all. So they about to reach out to y'all. This King of Wands could be a Leo or he feels he's a superhero. Captain Savo. Woo. Yep, that's the King of Wands. The King of Wands don't want nobody putting their hand. Y'all probably got a King of Wands who comes off at this player, this real smooth, you know, charismatic type of energy. Or he could be a Leo specifically. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't want nobody. They they get they have they territorial basically. Okay, let's see what this uh this tower card is. What is this tower card? This tower card. Yeah, we are ending shit. Yes, somebody's going to experience some type of. Somebody got to make sure they have some jumper cables in their car. Um, I'm not saying it. It could be for you, but oh. Okay, so somebody needs to get some jumper cables. Okay. Or this is a power surge type of energy. Somebody surged up and room, room. And it's so funny because I'm where I'm at. There's a, I believe there's at the convention center, there's some racing that's going on. So that's so interesting. Now I'm hearing that like, 
Ready, bam. So some of y'all, this is what y'all moving towards. This tower card and this observer card. Some of you guys are giving up on this person. Remember I was reading the energy of this person like, show me the sign, give me a sign universe. And then this person ignores whatever sign is there. They ignore the synchronicity. They ignore whatever, whatever. So somebody is, there's a, oh, there's an ending for some of you guys with this person being like that. This person may have some type of trends. And it takes off towards your ass. Like, uh -uh, I ain't letting her go. I ain't letting him go. But all that, what's this star card here for? Aquarian energy. Mm -hmm. The star card. Wow. The star card is giving me vibes of a single person. Now we got Aquarius energy here. We got Gemini energy. We also have that all that air energy. Anything that embodies the air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, whatever. This is strong air energy. Y'all know the air energy been very strong. There's something pivotal going on with this air because it wouldn't just be coming up like this. If y'all know, let me know. Um. She knows she's the prize. This is soulmate energy. Seven of swords is deceit. Somebody has, um, somebody deals with, um, what is it called? When men can't get, when they can't, you know, what is that called? Erectile dysfunction. There is a man who deals with that. And I feel like this makes them, um, Oh, maybe they feel like that's why they can't come to you. So this is a soulmate. Something happened with their health. I don't know what type of health issues. This is specific. And this is a soulmate. This is definitely a, a strong soulmate. Somebody who loves you very much. Um, may love you more than you love them. Um, but this person suffers from what I just said. Um, so yeah, that's that energy. Like they feel like, or just because of the type of person you are, they feel like they may not be able to completely and utterly and thoroughly that type of energy. Okay. So this is for the divine feminine. They may feel like this fire energy too. fire sign, air sign energy. Somebody doesn't even care about that. Because I feel like somebody's not even interested in that right now. Oh, I got to shut this down. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let me get one card of advice from my watchers. One card of advice. Ooh, five of pentacles. Clarify this five of pentacles. Taking care of yourself. Oh, five of pentacles, the two of cups. Advice. Because the two of cups landed right next to the Gemini. Um, I'm sorry, the lover's card. Dreams. This is also a past life relationship. Love. This is two women. A man and a woman. Five of Pentacles is left out in the cold. I would say guarding your finances, but I'm not feeling in that way. I'm feeling more in your health sector and also in your relationships. Like there's some type of sickness that you and another person mimic. Like you, you it, like it could be some type of um, uh, something with your laryngitis laryngitis with your larynx sorry uh with your larynx some of you guys suffer from some type of nasal thing you and this other person some of you guys is is gastric is is digestive thing some of you got yep that's what we're going with it's your two y'all got the same thing y'all got the same thing and you're both going through some similar things when it comes to your health so maybe you guys can guide and help each other in this uh, uh situation if you're able to I feel like once you decide to make better health choices for some of you guys, y'all need to eat better. Y'all need to drink more water. Y'all need to make stop drinking caffeine. Some of y'all drink too much caffeine. Coffee, tea, all that shit. Bag tea is not good for you. Bag tea is not good for you, baby. There's no way. No way. I'm sorry. It's not. Because they put chemicals in those bags and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes all those herbs and whatever you think is herbs in those bags are not what you think it is. Okay. I was going to say like something about a toast or a celebration. And I don't know y'all know ain't gonna, a couple of y'all going to know this song. But there's a song called A Toast to the Fool Who Let You Go. So somebody, maybe there's a toast coming with two people um, because somebody else is out the picture now. Because somebody didn't appreciate somebody the way they needed. They deserve to be appreciated. Right? Peace. Love y'all. Have a good, great Saturday.